Over the past several years, we've seen social media influence financial assets like stocks and cryptocurrencies. We saw it recently with Wall Street bets pumping up GameStop stock. The most well-known instances of this have been Elon Musk's tweets. His tweets over the past several years have pumped up his own company stock, Tesla, GameStop, and most recently, it's been the cryptocurrency Dogecoin. For example, on February 7th, Elon tweets out, who let the Doge out? Which is a play on the 2000 song by Baja Men, who let the dogs out. Great song, by the way. The tweet was sent out at 2.25 PM. Before the tweet, the price of Dogecoin was 8.22 pennies. Five minutes later, the price was 8.95 pennies, which may not seem like a lot, but it's almost a 9% jump. So if we had bought $10,000 worth of it at the time of the tweet and sold five minutes later, we would have made $900 in five minutes. Not bad. So I figured why not create a program that does this for us? So whenever there's a tweet that contains the word Doge in it, trigger a buy. So that's what I did. And that's what we're gonna go over in this video. Before we start, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. It does help the channel out in a massive way. Also, if you haven't already, feel free to join the Keep On Coding Discord server where you can connect and chat with other developers. It's totally free. We'll link to that down in the description. So how is this video gonna work? Well, first of all, I'm gonna be going over the algorithm I'm using for my program. Then we're gonna be doing a live demo so I can prove to you that this actually works. And finally, I'm gonna be going over improvements that could be made to the program. So there are really two parts to this algorithm. The first one is finding the latest tweet and searching if Doge is contained in that tweet. And the second part is, if that's true, trigger a buy. I'm gonna be using a site called Kraken, which is one of the largest sites for trading crypto. And I'm gonna be using their API to execute the order. So the first step is to pull Elon's timeline to get the latest tweet. I'm gonna be using the Twitter public API and I'm gonna be polling every 10 seconds and we can change this to be more aggressive or conservative if we need to. So here we have the Twitter API documentation. I did have to set up a developer account to use this, but for this endpoint, we have get tweet timelines. So this will get all the tweets from a user's timeline. So an example request would be a get request to this URL here. And we have two variables here. We have the screen name, which is gonna be the Twitter handle of the user. And then it's gonna be the count. How many tweets do we want? For our case, we just want the latest tweet. So our count will be set to one. The response is gonna be JSON. It's gonna be an array of tweets. And each tweet has things like when it's created, the ID of the tweet. What we want is the text. This gives us the actual text of what's inside the tweet. Once we have the text, all we need to do is check if Doge or D-O-G-E is contained within the text. If it's not, then we just don't do anything and we go back to sleep and we check again in 10 seconds. If it is true, then we wanna trigger a buy. So we would do this using the Kraken API. For adding a standard order, we would just need to hit this URL and we do need to specify a few things on the input. For example, the pair. What are we buying and what are we buying it with? For my example, I'm gonna be buying Dogecoin and I'm gonna be using Bitcoin to buy it. Next is the type, which is gonna be a buy, the order type, which is gonna be a market buy, and finally, it's gonna be the volume. So how many Doge coins are we gonna buy? And for this example, we're gonna go for 50. So I wrote this program in C Sharp using .NET. Kraken does provide some sample code for this that they have on Bitbucket, so I was able to reuse a lot of the code. I did have to tweak some things in it. I did have to add the, the Twitter code in it as well, but definitely having this saved me a ton of time. So for the demo, Unfortunately, I can't test it against Elon Musk's timeline because I don't know when he's gonna tweet and what we're doing is we're polling for new tweets. So what I'm gonna do is point it to my own Twitter timeline and we're gonna test it that way. So, but it should work the same way regardless of whose timeline it's pointing at. So if we look at my Kraken account, we see that we have 0.00044 Bitcoin and we have 111 Doge coins. So we're gonna purchase 50 of these. So after this, this should be 160 Dogecoin. So if we're going into the code here, we're gonna change screen name from Elon Musk to my account. And we're gonna keep everything else the same. So if we go back and look at my timeline, we see that the latest tweet doesn't have 
the word Doge in it at all. All right, so let's go ahead and run our program. We're gonna change it to pull every seven seconds now instead of 10. So let's go ahead and hit start. Let's minimize this. So now we see I found a new tweet initially, checking if it contains Doge. It doesn't, so it goes to sleep for seven seconds. Again, checks for any tweets. It doesn't find anything, so it goes to sleep for seven seconds. Let's wait for it to do it one more time. All right, so let's go ahead and add a new tweet now. Let's say something like, going to buy Dogecoin. So let's go ahead and tweet. All right, we have that. There we go. It says, found a new tweet, checking if it contains Doge. Tweet contains Doge, triggering buy via Kraken API. So let's go ahead and stop the program. And let's go ahead and go back to Kraken. So before we re refresh, we see that the last ledger was on February 7th at 1020. Let's go ahead and refresh. We're refreshing and here we go. We see that now we have 160 Dogecoin. If we go down here, we see that, there we go, 2921, a new trade was made. So there you have it. All we did was we had this program running, uh, didn't do anything, but then once I tweeted going to buy Dogecoin, because it contains D-O-G-E, uh, we see that it did trigger a buy and we already have some likes and comments. So really the next step would be to change it to you know, instead of pointing at my Twitter timeline, it would point at Elon Musk's. And um, yeah, basically it would just sit there polling his timeline. As soon as he tweets about it, it would trigger a buy. So what kind of improvements could we make to this? Well, first of all, we probably don't want it running locally on our machine. So we'd want to move it to the cloud, something like AWS, Azure, pretty much any cloud service. Secondly, we only have purchasing. We don't have any selling. So, you know, we don't really know when the peak is going to be, but we could implement something like hey, if it drops a certain percent percentage trigger a sell. And another thing, like I mentioned, we would probably want to have a webhook. So the tweets actually get pushed to us. Uh, I don't know how fast that would be. Um, I don't know how long uh, that would take from the time that the tweet goes out. So depending on that, we would want to either keep it as we are now polling or just have the webhook that pushes the tweet to us. And finally, right now, all our program is doing is checking the text of a tweet. So the other day he did have a poll that had Doge in it. Our program isn't smart enough to figure that out. So that's something else that we could improve on. If you guys are gonna try this, do it at your own risk. Trading cryptocurrencies is very risky. It's very volatile. You could gain a lot of money, but you could also lose a lot of money. So make sure you know exactly what you're doing before you get into it. That's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys did hit me with a like. Again, a link to the Discord down in the description. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and keep on coding.